Hey folks, JJD here coming at you with another Craft Beer Nation quick beer review. Tonight I'm coming at you with a review of a nice beer from the brewery. This is Mocha Wednesday, as I understand it. This is Black Tuesday brewed with uh, cocoa nibs and coffee beans from Portola, California. So the base beer is huge. Uh, as you would expect, the resulting beer is moderately significant, weighing in at 19.4%. Uh, so this is a beer I'm going to drink slow, but try to review quickly. Never had this beer before. I love all their big beers. Um, I love all big beers. I like big beers and I cannot lie. Uh, get this wax off. Give it a go. This is a 2016 vintage of this beer. Mm -mm 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 -mm. So let's see what we got going on here at the brewery. Mocha Wednesday 2016, 19.4%. I think I just reviewed Black Tuesday uh, around Christmas or something. So that, I think that bears that review is already floating around. Um, this beer, this bottle has been out for about 45 minutes. Feels like it's 50 degree ish, something like that. Pours, I would say not pitch black, but very, very dark. Um, to the light, I almost get a little bit of color, but this is basically an opaque beer. Had probably a finger head, uh, pretty light head actually for a big, big coffee beer like this. Um, it's subsiding quickly. Not a lot of light, but good looking beer. Actually, to me, it looks looks a little thin um, just from appearances. It's not really gripping gripping the glass that much, but it's kind of hard to make a 19.4% beer too viscous. So, mm, wow. Smells super sexy. Uh, a ton of bourbon is what you get up front. I get vanilla. I get like really kind of nice earthy notes oak from the barrel not getting a lot of coffee i'm getting mostly bourbon um vanilla maybe a little bit of coffee or fudge in the background but but bourbon is definitely uh definitely kind of stealing the thunder but smells really good so cheers let's see what the deal is with this big bad boy very nice very nice so um actually the bourbon the bourbon barrel notes are not as big in the palate as i would have expected from the nose i'm getting kind of typical blackstrap molasses um coffee and chocolate so almost like uh fudge coated espresso beans something like that um I'm not getting as much vanilla in the palate as I did in the nose, but but maybe a little bit there, and kind of like caramelized caramelized sugars. It's it's very sweet. It's um, I wouldn't say it's cloying, but it's it's quite sweet. Once I get done with this uh, this review, I'm taking this thing to a bottle share. Uh, me myself and I are going to share this thing and share our thoughts on it. But it's a uh, it's a big beer. It's, this is a bottle share beer. It's typically not something you probably want to polish on your own, but I got no choice, you know, because I'm lonely. But it's good, man. It's really good. Um, it's complex, and I think I predict as it warms, um, the chocolate notes are going to come out, and the the bourbon the bourbon is going to back off a little bit probably as it continues to warm up. But really, really nice beer. I would actually say the mouthfeel is a little bit lacking. Um, it's kind of hard to make a very high ABV beer like this be thick and viscous, but that's a big part of Big Stout for me is, is the mouthfeel. So um, that's kind of the only thing I'm missing on this, but but all around great beer. Um, appearance, I would say um, 375. Looks good, but looks a little bit thin. 
head is a little bit lacking, but that's to be expected for uh, you know big beer like this. Um, nose four point two five. You know, smells really luscious. Smells really good. Flavor um, four point oh, and probably if you ask me in an hour, I would say four point two five. I'm sure it's gonna as it warms up, it's gonna get sexier and sexier and more seductive. Uh, mouthfeel, I'm gonna say three seven five. It's it's a little bit lacking. I I would prefer to have a little bit of coating on the back of the tongue, but but it's not bad at all. It's it's you know it's on the light side of of medium medium is what I would say. So um, not what you expect for a really really big stout like this. So all in, uh, I'm gonna say this beer is a 4.0 um, brewery Mocha Wednesday. Delicious beer complex drink with your friends don't operate heavy machinery after you drink it um don't try to reprogram your vcr after you drink it but we'll see how that goes in an hour or two uh, so anyway that's it folks um please continue to check out all of our craft beer nation content um our pints and courts on thursdays where we hook up with great brewers and, and learn the story of their success our friday night hangouts where you just get a bunch of beer nerds like me hanging out drinking beer and talking crap uh, usually pretty humorous um and we we do some other segments from time to time so check us out on twitter instagram google plus um facebook cracker nation drink good beer stay positive try as many different beers as you can don't get in a rut and uh, by all means check us out next time peace <laughs>